Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today is a random Sunday and I decided that I wanted to film. I have not picked up my camera in a while and when I have filmed, I have not edited and not uploaded to YouTube. So if this makes it to YouTube, then I've actually completed all the steps that it takes to put a video on YouTube. So anyway, it is the last Sunday in July when I'm filming this and I'm just getting ready for nothing. I love the weekends when I can just play around with my makeup. I mean, I wear makeup pretty much every day, but generally, you know, I try to keep it I don't know, tame for work. I don't know. I mean, that's all in the, the eye of the beholder, right? Some people don't wear any makeup. Some people wear a lot of makeup. But I just find makeup to be really fun to put on, relaxing, and just like a me moment where I can kind of just play around with things and, and try different makeup looks. My dog had me up since 5 a.m. this morning because he just wanted to go out and that's I don't sleep late because one I'm used to waking up early for work but also I never get to sleep late on the weekends because my dog is on a schedule and there's nothing more infuriating than a dog that needs to go out when he's supposed to but also it's like then I can't go back to sleep so I've already had my coffee and uh, I've watched some YouTube and I also put together my photo album from my vacation that I took in June. I had gotten a whole bunch of photos printed and I have been slowly but surely putting them in a photo album. I think I'm the only person on earth that, or at least under 50, that puts together physical photo albums anymore. But I love photo albums. They're just so much fun. I still will just like randomly look at photo albums from trips that I took 10, 15, you know, years ago or just, you know, randomly from a different period of my life and just, I love to flip through photos. So anyway, um, I'm starting with my eyeshadow. I usually always do. I just put some eye primer on. I, I have a problem because I have just been buying things lately. Like I haven't really shown them on the internet, hence, you know, not me making videos, but I've just been buying so much makeup. And it's bad. I probably have a problem. Maybe an addiction? I'm not sure. But yeah. I have some Sigma palettes here. Sigma was having their summer sale or 75% off sale. So I picked up these three on the go palettes. Um, this is the Earthy. This is Fiery. And this is Electric, Purp uh, electric Pink. I had never tried Sigma before. And the other palette I got was this one, the Corda Rosa palette, which I had had my, this is the reason why I made the Sigma order, because I had had my eye on this palette since it came out, and I finally bought it. I tried it yesterday, and it's very pretty. It's like all the pinky blush, mauve goodness that one could want. I also recently bought from Cosmic Brushes the Serenity palette, and I they restocked their Muse and Delicious Delights, which are coming to me. But here's the Serenity palette. So pretty. I have two more palettes coming from England. And then I also have an Alta order that's supposed to come today per the labor laser ship tracking from Alta. I have a ColourPop palette and a Flower Beauty palette that were online only coming today. So yeah, I have I have a problem. It might, be, so it might say like, it's a hobby, but it could also be a problem. I also want to start with, um, I did put primer on my eye, but I also want to start with exfoliating my lips. So I made an e.l.f. order recently, and some of the things I got were the new lip exfoliation, lip exfoliation things, exfoliators. I have three of them because they had the fun flavors on their website, but I have popcorn, which really does smell and kind of taste like popcorn, orange dreamsicle, and cotton candy so I've been using the popcorn so we are gonna start with that today so very granular so I'm gonna actually it's very gritty I actually have not been to the movies since before lockdown and there's a part of me that like doesn't ever want to go to a movie theater again shared space with other people 
seats that may or may not be comfortable. You don't know last time they've been cleaned. Overpriced food and beverage. Other people talking or using their cell phones. Or even worse, have you ever been in a movie theater where there's a fight? I've been in a couple movie theaters. Never been in, well, I've never been involved in a fight. I definitely have been with like people who have gotten into arguments with other people, but nothing like drastic. But I've also been in a movie theater where like, you know, somebody was like talking throughout the whole movie and then another person was like telling them they better stop. And then it was like, well, you better make me. And then the person took them up on that offer. I was like, I, I hate movie theaters. I haven't been to a movie theater. The last movie I saw was called, I think it was called Dark Water, Deep Water. It had Kristen Stewart and they were in this like underwater mining of the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest place in the ocean. And of course, humans should not be down there mining. And they awoken something that shouldn't have been awoken. And it's actually pretty good. Uh, and kind of scary. And like the perfect movie theater movie because of the darkness and the sounds. This is the Elf Squeeze Me Balm. I'm just putting this on, kind of like moisturize my lips. It's the Vanilla Frosting one, which originally was way too sweet for me. But now I've kind of acclimated myself to it and I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. But really, it's super sweet. But I know a lot of people have gone to the movies recently. I mean, they've gone back to the movies since things have kind of normalized. But also, this the weekend before was Barbieheimer, which was Barbie and Oppenheimer. Both movies that I am totally interested in seeing at some point, but I feel like more in the comfort of my own home um, than seeing them in the movie theater. But I appreciate the fun of like going and getting dressed up for Barbie and then like doing a double feature, Barbie Oppenheimer. Maybe one day I'll go back to the movies. It's totally change the topic. I just don't know what um, eyeshadow palette I want to wear because now I have so many... Do I want to wear one of my new ones? Do I want to wear this one? I love this is from Simply Posh Cosmetics and it's the Citrus Punch. I mean, if there was ever summer in an eyeshadow palette, this is it. And I wear this a lot during the weekends because I would never wear it to work. But I'm also at this point ready for summer to be over because it has just been so gosh darn hot, hot here and humid. And I personally, personally cannot take humidity. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, mm, maybe, should I try the Serenity palette again? I've done an all over gold look and all, all over like green one and done. And then the other day I made like this really cool, I thought it was cool, like purpley blue kind of celestial looking thing. But I haven't really du dug into like the greens or the other colors. I want summer though. All right, let me, let me do a let me do citrus punch. I feel like I want to do citrus punch. I don't know what exactly I'm doing because I make it up as I go and sometimes it, it looks shitty and sometimes it looks shitty and I just accept it and I move on with my day. How is everybody's summer going? Are you doing anything fun? Um, let's see. By the time... So I guess depending on when you consider summer starting. I went to Montreal in June. Montreal, Canada. Quebec. I just always want to go to Canada. I don't know why. I feel like my secretly Canadian. I always jokingly ask myself or like ask my dad. I'm like, am I secretly Canadian? I just don't know about it because I'm always like, I want to go. Like Toronto was a bucket list city that I went to a few years ago and I absolutely loved it. Montreal was fine. It was fine. I went by myself as a little birthday treat, treat and trip. And also just because it was, you know, like diving my feet, my toes, dipping, I guess dipping into, you know, a non-English speaking environment, but still not feeling like I was going, you know, maybe like to Europe or something like that. Overall, it was nice. I stayed in a hotel that was a little pricey for me, but honestly, it was just an experience. And I also had some Hilton Honors points, so I was able to kind of redeem them and help cut down the cost a little bit, but it was the most perfect hotel for where I was. So if you're ever in Montreal and you wanna stay kind of in the center of everything, I highly recommend the Hampton Inn downtown or the Hampton Inn Centerville because as I learned, Centerville means downtown in French. But it was on Boulevard Saint Laurent and it was smack dab perfect. There was like the 55 bus was right there on Boulevard Saint Laurent and then the metro. It was smack dab in walking distance between two different metro stations. Uh, across the 
there's like a highway in the middle um you know across from it but then you could see um like old montreal like old port montreal their city hall their judicial building which were really cool looking but it was just really and i mean i walked a lot too but it was really like this like perfect place for for me like a tourist to kind of like jump on their public transit system and go all over Montreal right next in Chinatown and so there was plenty of restaurants it was just like a really cool place to stay so um yeah if you're ever ever in there and you want to go someplace that's nice um, like I said, it was a little pricey for me, depending on what your budget is. Also, it was like going into their Grand Prix weekend, which I had no idea ahead of time which Grand Prix. But Grand Prix, from what I understand, which is Formula One racing, is their their equivalent of a Super Bowl. It was packed um, by the time the weekend came around. People were, it was, it was packed. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I did experience some airport woes on the way back. Basically, uh, after I went through security, but not through customs, because coming back to the United States, you get to go through customs in Canada before you get on the plane, they canceled my flight. And we were like multiple hours out, and I didn't know what to do because they're like, yeah, we canceled it because of weather. And that was it. And I didn't know what to do because at that point, I was in, already at the airport. Because of the Grand Prix, no, there's like no hotels anywhere like you would not be able to get a hotel anywhere in Montreal so I'm like oh so I asked somebody that worked at the airport when I was in line I was like almost in the front of the security line because I was uh, ready for customs because I didn't know if they were gonna let me go through customs and like oh you got to get out you got to get out of line and you got to go here and talk to this person so then I got out of line and I talked to this person and they're like no 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 you gotta talk to this person so then I go and I talk to this person I'm getting further and further further back from customs but I'm still in like the secure area and then finally the person's like, um, no, you have to go through customs and you have to deal with Air Canada on the other side. So I had already waited in like an hour plus line to get through customs. And so then like I had to get back in the line. And meanwhile, like I was on the phone to Air Canada to try to figure out uh, what were my options. Because I was traveling by myself and I was just like, I would have felt better if I was traveling with somebody. But because I was traveling by myself... I didn't know what my options were and I was a little bit nervous and scared because I when well, I don't want to say scared I was more just like just like like what am I gonna do and so when I call Air Canada they're like oh yes you know, we do see we canceled your flight we apologize well we can get you to Toronto tonight but then you're gonna have to figure out how to get from like but then like once we get you to Toronto we'll get you to like another city in the morning but like you're gonna have to figure everything else out and I was like nah I'm like I just wanna I was going to Philadelphia and I'm like I just wanna get I just wanna go home tonight I just wanna go home tonight like flights were getting canceled left and right once I oh, okay anyway so I got through secure I got through customs and then I go and I get into the line for their customer service which they only had two employees working there which I'm not they were like great I'm not saying anything about the employees uh but it, the line itself was like another like 45 minutes to an hour plus wait and I was just chilling at that point because I was at that point where I was already past the point of frustration and I was just at acceptance of whatever happens I'm just like okay this is gonna happen whatever's gonna happen happens but like there are people who hadn't reached that stage of acceptance yet and they were getting irritated also I smartly for myself only did check uh, carry on which was like great because usually I'm all like I'll just do check-in but because um, I was only doing carry-on luggage, it kind of made things a little easier for me. But finally, I reached the front of the customer service line and they switched people and like this new person came. And I was explaining my situation and I was like, oh, can I get a hotel? And he's like, no. <laughs> he's like, we don't offer hotels for weather related, even though there was no weather there. Um, because somewhere along the line, there was weather supposedly with the plane. So like, we don't offer. And he's like, there's also just no hotel rooms in all of Montreal because of Grand Prix. I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, he's like, you can, but like you could stay here in the airport for the night. <laughs> and I'm like, look, I just really want to get home tonight. Like, is there anything, anywhere I can go? <laughs> I basically was like, I just want to get back to the United States. Is there anything I can get to America tonight? Because I just don't want to be like in another like in Canada in the airport in a foreign country even though I'd already passed customs or whatever and he was like wow 
I do have one seat left on the airplane going to Newark, New Jersey. And he's like, Newark, of course, isn't that far from, from Philly. Like, if you could figure out a way to get from Philly, like, get to Philly from Newark, like, cool. And I was like, I'll take it. So basically, I called my dad and I pulled one of the, like, ultimate, like, my dad has always had this promise with me of, like, if I, like, need him to pick me up somewhere, like, since I was a little kid. Like, no questions asked. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm a full-grown adult, but I was like, can you come and get me? I'm like, if I get to Newark, New Jersey tonight, can you come and pick me up? And my dad was like, okay. <laughs> he was very just like, sure, I will come and get you. So my dad drove up to Newark, New Jersey. Um, and my flight, I got the like one of the last seats on the flight going to Newark. I got in around 11 p.m. and was able to get off the plane and was home at like one something. But yeah, it was, it was something. It's definitely um, a little bit nerve-wracking oh but yeah so i don't even know how i got on montreal oh i was doing my photo album this morning <laughs> from my montreal trip i think that's how i got started on montreal but anyway and now i'm just kind of like one of the things i have to do today is i had to do house stuff like why not wear makeup while doing house stuff fun makeup i'm also just hanging out with my dog so my dog he's a man of age he's also going through some health issues and so at this point we've met with the vet and the vet is kind of like we kind of just want to keep up the quality of life at this point. Spending a lot more time, like, especially, like, on the weekends or, like, in the evenings. Just, like, hanging with my dog. Not that I wouldn't anyway. He needs, like, a lot more attention. And, you know, when he was a younger child. I said younger child. <laughs> I mean, he is my child. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so, so I'm also just hanging out with my dog. He's currently sleeping. But when he's awake, he, he needs a, little, a lot more attention. He needs to go out all the time. He's wearing a diaper most times until he wiggles out of it. He's on different medication. <sighs> yeah, so that's fun. Yeah, I, uh, I'm making dinner tonight, and then I'm also, I gotta pay some bills today. And then also, I have this art project that has been like pending for like a year. I just wanna like uh, finish it. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and my mascara, and I will be right back. Oh my god, I messed up my eyeliner. I'm rushing. Why am I rushing? I have no idea. And so I screwed up my eyeliner. I made it a little more thick. I'm using the Epic Smoke Liner from NYX. I usually use a liquid eyeliner, but I grabbed this instead today. I tell you what, when those people do their eye their makeup on, on camera, it's a skill. <laughs> Just like, it is not something I know how to do with an audience. Even a pretend audience, because maybe one person will watch this if that... So I have this desk that, it's actually not even a desk, it's a table where I'm sitting at right now. And I actually got it for free. It's a good desk, but also it kind of like isn't flat just by design. There is a slight tilt to it. But then also in my house, at least in my, my bedroom and my office areas, um, and I only know this because I'm obsessed with leveling, like looking at things through a level, which I bought at Lowe's and it's, it is the equivalent of a child's cardboard box or tube is a level like a like a five dollar level and i'm constantly like leveling like trying to see if things are level this is not level and so anytime i bump into this table which is not level everything falls love leveling things <laughs> such a weird weird thing for me to say maybe i should have gone into construction i mean my school didn't even like introduce non-gender specific roles to children it was like it wasn't even an option like oh shit I'm talking and I screwed shit up. So I had to fix up my my right eye because I was talking and I screwed things up. So today I'm gonna use this new liquid poreless putty primer from e.l.f. Kind of um I also have the original in the in the pot, but I have a brush. Sorry. I'm just deciding what I wanted to do. Let's see, what have been some of the things that have been keeping me interested in in life lately. Well, I was watching um, in terms of television. I don't really watch a lot of TV that's on TV just because the only TV that I really have, that I have, is in our living room. Mind you, I have a TV in my bedroom. <laughs> I have a TV in my office that I don't use. I just don't watch TV in my office or in my bedroom. It's weird. They're not even hooked up. They're good TVs. They're just, like, not even hooked up. And I have no desire to hook them up. I'm, like, every once in a while, I'm, like, maybe I should connect them to something. And then I don't. 
because I don't know why. I don't watch a lot of like TV on TV, but I did watch until like almost the very end of the most recent uh, season of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, All Star Season 8. But then I got frustrated with the riggery that was clearly happening to like make certain people go further in the competition. And I know it's reality TV and a reality competition and like they want to make the drama. Oh, like bitch, come on, really? So I, uh, <laughs> out, of, out of anger, I canceled my Paramount Plus subscription and when they're like, why are you canceling? I'm like, because of the riggery of All Stars 8. <laughs> I was just very angry that day. So I've been watching really anything on TV. Although I was thinking about giving Apple TV a one month try in August. I had I had it before as like a free subscription after buying Apple products. Then I cancel it. And but I, there's like a couple of shows on there that I think I want to watch. And then the, a show that I actually watched season one of when it was available apparently is finally coming out with season two, Invasion. And I'm like, I kind of have to see this through and I also want to watch the show Foundation um, which is like a sci-fi show I don't know so I'm thinking about giving Apple Plus a try again I don't do Netflix like I don't do streaming services really unless I have a specific purpose and then I cancel them so like I'll do Paramount Plus when it's All Stars 8 or like All Stars season I don't care about Netflix I don't care about Hulu I don't care about Peacock I don't care about any of them I really don't it's funny because everyone's like did you see this show did you see this did you see this did you watch this I'm like nah I used to be obsessed with TV, I used to be obsessed with film, and now I'm like so on the opposite spectrum, like I really don't care about half the things that are on the screen right now. Oh, I have a new blush! I have a new blush! I bought this blush, it's not new new, but it's new to me. This is the Juvia's Place Blush Rouge, and this is the orange one, the volume 6 one. So, here you go, I love a good peachy, orangey, corally moment so we're gonna try it I really also have to clean all of my brushes let's go in with the lighter one my blush my blush brush probably also has like other shit on it so you might hear my cat or my, actually my dad's cat but she is crying and then I pay her attention and she wants nothing to do with me but it's all good so here is the blush and I should have said this from the beginning if you didn't realize this I'm in no way a makeup professional makeup whatever I'm not even a good makeup enthusiast I'm just like a normal average person that enjoys putting makeup on so you know I should have put that right up at front but I just hopped into talking to this very long video so okay here's one thing I want to talk about no one else cares in my immediate circle of life which is it's fine <laughs> but Twitter or the death of Twitter into X by Elon Musk I don't know I'm not a business person. I mean, I work at a business, but it doesn't mean I'm a business person. But I feel like in my limited amount of just average person, like the layman, what is he doing? What is happening? What the fuck, dude? Sorry for the F word just out of nowhere there, but $44 billion he spent on Twitter. And I don't think he's like done anything that is mildly positive in this time that he's had it. He's had it for like over a year maybe? Everything sucks. I started to notice it. I'm just a regular person. I don't really have any followers, whatever. I have a couple people. Uh, I love Twitter for after I'd watch a show, like when I would watch Westworld or something like that. The re- like the like post or like when there was Game of Thrones. The post show tweeting community of like theories and like sharing your experience with other people. Like I love that. I love getting like local news that isn't on the actual news. Like I live in the suburbs of Philadelphia. I'm always looking at Philadelphia, Philly crime update or just like other things, not always bad, but like the news is only gonna show you so much. And I love watching things happen. I don't love watching things happen in real time, but I like knowing things happening in real time. And then you see them on the news like three or four days later, you know, or it'll be on national news. Like I'll see a, like a viral clip of somebody going crazy. Like the guy, ooh, the guy who was on the airplane and he started freaking out because the baby was crying and he's like yelling about like they need to shut the baby up. I saw that like the day after it happened, yet it was on the news like three or four days later. Like, and I was like, I already saw that. It was on Twitter. Um, I also just love the random Twitter communities and reading like things I'm not even a part of but just seeing like different people's experiences and 
just being exposed to different things. Like, I love Twitter for that. I did make like a Twitter friend, which was weird. Like, I never met this person in real life. But for a while, like, we were actually messaging. Oh, they were in Canada. They were in, they were in Canada. Maybe I really am meant to be Canada, Canadian. Anyway, um, we were, like, messaging. I don't talk to the person anymore. We kind of, like, like, just drifted apart. Yeah, it was, like, cool to meet people and connect. Something, you know, it's not always the easiest. But I love Twitter. And then no one else, knew, like, in my immediate circle gave a shit about Twitter, which is fine. You know, there's a lot of social media out there. I just hate what he, he being Elon Musk has done. And also it just is a, uh, in my experience, I'm being, my feed is just filled with promotions now, like promoted ads to the point where it's like every third post is something that's promoted, where I feel like that wasn't the case before. And you know, just some of the people that I enjoy following have left the platform for other platforms. And I did join threads, which I didn't realize at the time, like when you make a thread account, you can never delete it because now that it's joined with your Instagram, like if you delete threads, you're also deleting your Instagram, which at the end of the day, I don't really care because I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I like Instagram. I'll look at it like once a week, but um, other than that, uh, I just don't fucking care about what 99% of the population is posting or like I know that sounds I know I know that sounds harsh but whatever I just I just can't keep up with it what's that oh it's my hair and then it's, <laughs> and it's just my skin yeah I mean how could somebody be oh and then he's let like just the discourse that's happening I hate it I just don't like Elon Musk I think he's a horrible person um I'm sure you know I know he has the fanboys that love him for the other businesses that he's, you know, for Tesla and SpaceX and whatever, but he has ruined one of my truly, truly favorite things in Earth, which is the dumpster fire. That is Twitter, the beloved dumpster fire. I just don't feel like Threads has that right now. You know, the, the people that automatically I follow on Threads because I'm connect, I follow them on Instagram, they're just, bringing over the same content and the same things that they had in Instagram without pictures. And it's like, that's not, that's not what this is. This isn't like you, and I'm not talking about real people. I'm not talking about like people, real people. I'm talking like the influencers. I just don't like that. Let's see what happens. I'm still using Twitter or X. The other day, was it Friday? It had automatically updated on my phone from Twitter to X. And I did do like a, <gasps> <laughs> the horror, the horror. Like, I was like, bitch, you didn't have my permission to just auto update the app like that. <laughs> no, you did not. Ugh. Ugh. But it happened. I'm mean, gonna have to live with it. Hmm, it's kind of dark. It's whatevs. It's whatevs. What do I want to do for my lips? So, yesterday was National Lipstick Day, July 29th. And so, it used to be kind of a bigger deal. But I understand with everything going on in the world, over the last few years, things as frivolous as National Lipstick Day is like not a thing. But I knew at least for one year, MAC would give out free lipstick. I once went, was it 2019? It could have been 2018 or 2019. I actually went to the mall and there was a freestanding MAC and there was a huge line, like like hour plus weight of people, but they were giving out free lipsticks. And then I hit up the Nor the Macy's and they were giving out free MAC lipsticks. And then I hit up the Nordstrom and they were giving out free MAC lipsticks. And by the time I got my car, I had like eight different <laughs> free uh, lipsticks. But they were like colors that were chosen especially for lipstick day, not for resale. They weren't just like, you get to pick any color. But like, I mean, I love my MAC. I have just random three right here. But uh, yeah, it doesn't happen. So Ulta was having up to 40% on certain ones and then Sephora was having 50% on certain brands so I picked up four at Sephora yesterday so it was like for the price of two there were two give by Gwen Stefani and then two Mar Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips that I really like the formula of I haven't tried them on yet I don't know let's just try give so here's the do I do it do I want to do this here so here's Give. This is the Anaheim Shine in Luraya. 
supposed to be like this orange red and then I also got Rosewood Street which is supposed to be a berry so we will and I love a oh that's very pretty I do love a berry and then I got peach, peachy beige and honeysuckle from the Tarte Juicy Lips and one's like that color that's peachy beige and that is the whatever Ugh. I say whatever like I didn't just say it let's try this one Loria Laura Laura I don't even know if this will be good but let's see good one really creamy I did not line my lips could be a mistake all right Gwen Gwen Stefani all right not bad all right I will be right back after I do my hair so I just tried to curl my hair not very good at it and um powdered my face and uh I am gonna go ahead and get dressed and go on with the rest of my day so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching my very uh, random chatty get ready with me on a Sunday morning while I talk about nothing but uh until next time guys I hope you all stay well bye